Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another No Gadget Needed project. And today we are making a card, not just any card though. We are making a twisted easel card. So this is what the card looks like flat. Then when you open it, it looks like this and stands up and has this really pretty presentation. Uh, so to get started, you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This is four and a quarter by nine and three quarter. And you want to score that at five and a half. Go ahead and crease on that score mark. We're going to take our bone folder and give that a nice crease. If you can't find your bone folder, use next best thing, a little spatula. All right, so there's the card base. We will also need the same color as our cardstock base, a piece that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Again, the same color. This is two and a half by one and three quarter. You will need three pieces of white. The one, this one is four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside. For the top, this piece is three and a half by four and three quarter. And then this piece is two and a quarter by one and a half. You'll need a piece of pattern paper. This is four by five and a quarter and a piece of brown scrap cardstock. All right, so let's first start with our stamping. So we're gonna grab the smaller of the white. Again, this one is three and a half by four and three quarter. And the stamps that I'm using is one of my mayonnaise. This is called O oh Nuts. How fun is that stamp set? If you are a squirrel fan, you're gonna love this one. We're gonna be using this squirrel, this squirrel, this stump, this greeting, the greeting there, and also the little acorn. All right, so what I wanna do first is create my grass. So to do that, I'm using another one of May stamp sets. This is called Patina. Okay, looks like that there. All kinds of fun designs on that one, and we're gonna use that for the grass. So the ink colors I have is brown, green, and blue. We're gonna grab the green to create our grass. I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper. All right, and what I wanna do is grab the piece that looks like the grass. Hopefully you guys can see that image. And we're just gonna go ahead and take that on the bottom of this piece here. I'm gonna go all different kinds of directions so it looks like grass. And I'm also going to stamp off so I have different shades of the green there as well. So I'm gonna ink it up, stamp it off, then come in there and it's gonna give me a much lighter shade. Kind of mimic the grass a little bit better. All right, so we're done with the grass. We can set that green aside. All right, now we're gonna take the tree, or the tree stump and we're gonna stamp that on our brown piece. I'm gonna grab just VersaFine black ink. I'm gonna ink that up really well, stamp it down. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our scissors and cut this piece out. I said before with May May Made It stamps, they are very easy to fussy cut. There's no sharp curves, no um, intricate pieces you need to go in there and fussy around with. I'm just gonna cut that out real quick. And then we're gonna stamp our squirrels. Okay, what I wanna do with that one is take a sponge and I'm gonna grab my brown ink and just sponge that tree a little bit so it's not so bare. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip, dip, dip my sponge in my brown ink and just kind of sponge on the tree stump a little bit just to give it some more definition, some more color. Okay, all right, we can set that aside. So now we have our stump. Now what I wanna do with my piece here, you can see I have my squirrel sitting on top of the stump. So what I wanna do is take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut off the round part of that top stump just like that. Okay, so it looks like that there. And I'm gonna take just a scrap piece of paper and I wanna use a uh, printer paper, not cardstock. Let me find my printer paper, I have it over here. Okay, all right, so what I wanna do is put the, my, let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little better. Okay, put my stump on the grass where I want it to go. I'm actually gonna stick a little bit of adhesive behind it just to help hold in place. Okay, just a smidgen of adhesive there. We're gonna put that down, make sure it's straight. I'm actually gonna move it over a little bit. Okay, make sure it's straight. 
Then I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper and you wanna use copy paper or printer paper or a really thin scrap of paper, what have you. And I'm gonna line it up with the top of that tree stump. And I'm gonna grab my squirrel. I'm gonna ink him up in my black ink. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and again, line this up. I want the squirrel to appear to be sitting on the stump. So ink your squirrel up and then stamp it down. And it's okay if you have, if, if part of the bottom of the squirrel goes on that white paper. I actually like that look. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. And you wanna press down really good, especially on the top part of the stamp, because we're going over a layer of cardstock and also our printer paper. All right, take that off and there's our squirrel. So now if you see, he's sitting on our stump. I'm gonna go ahead and take my stump off and set that aside. We're actually gonna be doing some coloring. And then I'm gonna go to grab my other squirrel. I'm gonna ink him up. And I'm gonna have him sitting over here on the grass. Okay, just like that. Now, if he's not quite on the grass, just go ahead and take that green ink again and stamp some more grass up near him. So I'm gonna ink off or, sta or stamp off and come a little bit closer to the squirrel so it looks like he's in the grass. Okay, I think that looks pretty good there. All right, now, I wanna color the squirrels in and I'm actually gonna be using just you know, coloring pencils. I have Prismacolor, I also have Crayola. But before I do that though, I wanna stamp the blue background. You see the blue background around that? And that's where the blue ink comes in. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm using a dry kitchen sponge. And I'm just gonna stamp, ink it up in my ink and then just stamp around the, around the squirrels. Just to bring some blue in there so it's not this plain white. And I'm just barely kissing the cardstock. I don't want to put coloring in my squirrel because I'm going to color him in or color them in and it'll show through. Just to give me a little bit of color. Okay, so I'll bring that up so you can see that. Okay, all right, now I'm going to color them in. And I might fast forward this part, we'll see. It's really, really um, fast to color. So again, this is just a coloring pencil. You can use the fancy Prismacolors or you can use Crayola. This method works the same with both. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roughly color him in. And then we're gonna use Mineral Spirits with a paper stump to blend. All right, so they're roughly colored. Okay, now to blend that out, you wanna use a paper stump, okay? And I have this, um, low odor mineral spirits. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in that. Then you'll see the paper stump change, letting me know it's wet. And then we're just gonna go ahead and blend right on top of that. Then you'll see the process on how it gets rid of the pencil lines and just makes for a much smoother coloring. Okay, so I think they look pretty good. Now, I'm gonna put my lid back. Actually, we're gonna use that for the acorns in a minute. But to do the, um, the uh, noses for the squirrels, I'm just gonna take a black marker and just go ahead and dot where the nose is, okay? Now, I'm gonna stamp my acorns. So I'm gonna grab the black ink and a little bit of an acorn. But before I do that, I'm gonna stamp the squirrel. Again, just the one squirrel. Okay, so I'm stamping that just on a piece of extra cardstock, just a scrap. And we're gonna cut it out. Just, I'm, I'm mainly worried about his hands. I guess they'd be paws, right? Because I wanna put an acorn, make it look like he's holding an acorn. Okay, so. That's my piece I cut out. We're gonna put that on the squirrel, lining it up where it goes, like that. And I'm gonna grab my acorn, my black ink, I'm gonna stamp it off first. Okay, and I'm gonna hold this down and then stamp right where his hands are, kind of on top of them. Okay, so when I take that off, it looks like he's eating the acorn. Super cute. 
All right, we're gonna stamp a few acorns kind of falling to the ground. Okay, and I am gonna cover them in with a, and again, this is just a brown Crayola. I'm gonna color right over that. And you're, you're able to color on top of the blue that we sponged on here with the brown because the brown's a lot darker than the blue. And I am putting more pressure on my pencil as I color this piece in. Okay, and then do this one. Okay, and again, that same idea. Take your mineral spirits. I'm just gonna use the same color here. Dip it off a little bit, and then just color in them the acorns. Again, I'm just getting it to where I don't have the, the lines from the pencil. I'm not too worried about them being perfectly colored in or all the way colored in. Okay, so now we can close a little on that. There is an odor to this. It's very, very um, subtle though. All right, so there is our finished image. How cute is that, right? All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm done with the black ink for now. I'm gonna take our stump and my glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I have this linked in my description box. Okay, I'm gonna dab off some of that glue. And we're gonna place this where the score, oh, before you do that, I can see I didn't color all the way in. Let me go back and grab that. Okay, hopefully there's enough on here. I could just blend that in a little bit. Okay, now we can take this and put it on the squirrel to be sitting on it. Okay. Isn't that adorable? Love that. All right, now we're going to also stamp a little greeting up here. I'm going to grab a piece of white scrap paper. Hopefully there's a clean side here. And I'm going to grab the green ink and the sentiment that says, oh, nuts. We're just gonna go ahead and stamp that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. If you wanna use a punch, you can, but I thought I had this already. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of green. And my little garbage pail here. Okay, so I have this green. I'm gonna glue this. Actually, I'm not gonna glue it because I wanna pop it up. I'm gonna line this up with my green piece to create the layer. Hold that down and take my bigger scissors and just cut all the way across, then up. Okay, super simple. All right, take our glue and I did. I, I popped the whole green piece up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my greeting, put some adhesive on the back of that. And our green piece here. like that. I'm going to flip it over and put some foam squares on the back. Just like that. And I'm going to set that to the side. Now let's work on our card. Okay. If I think it stays, where's the card? All right. So we have it here. Okay. So we have the card base like that. You want to open it to where you have the shorter one on the side, then take this corner and match up with that score mark down here. So I'm just gonna line it up, hold it there with my finger, and then just come out and crease it. And again, my bone folder has disappeared, so I'm just gonna use my little spatula here just to give me a nice crease on that. And what I do is I always fold it all for different kinds of ways just to make sure it's all gonna go the way I want it to. Okay, so now what you wanna do, now we have it like this. Okay, this is what creates, you're gonna have it like that. Okay, fold this side down. Open it back up, flip it over, and around. Yes. Okay, so now you can see. Let me rewind that. Okay. Like this, right? This shorter side here. Take this corner down to that corner. Open it back up, flip it over. So now we have this side over here, but you want to flip it over to where we have this side. Okay, so you see that? So we have this side over here, the triangle, because when we fold that, that piece right there is going to create our easel card. Okay? So we're gonna put some glue on this piece here. And I'm gonna use my art glitter glue just along that score mark there and along the edges. And 
and then take my tape runner. This is just an advanced tape runner I got from Michaels. I do have this in my description box as well, but I don't think they make that one anymore. All right, so now we have the glue there. Fold that down so it looks like that. Then take this piece of green and you're gonna basically just put it on top, lining up the edges on the left and the bottom, and then bring it over and just giving that a good rub. I'm gonna flip it over this way and give it a rub this way. Okay, then we can open that up. I have a little bit of glue there. Get rid of that glue there, okay? So now when we open that up there, that creates the easel, okay? Hopefully I explained that okay. If not, there's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do the twisted, the twisted easel. I just take our pattern paper, Put that on the top. Am I? I was initially going to color this in brown, or use uh, brown cardstock as my base, but I didn't like that. I wanted to use the green. And I put this on there a tad bit crooked. Oh, get rid of that paper right there. Okay. And now I'll go ahead and put that on there straight. Hopefully, there we go. Much better. All right. Now we have our little image here. We're going to pop that up as well just to give it more dimension. And I have these small ones, these small foam squares. These are also linked in my description box below. And I'm going to go ahead and put nine of them on here, side the corners and also in the center and the sides. Okay, give all them a good squish. Take the backing off. So it's a simple card. The longest part for this card particularly is the coloring, but you know, you can use any stamps that you like, anything you want to put on the front. You can just do a small image there with a large greeting. But I really wanted to showcase the squirrels and the coloring on them as well. And again, I've used this technique with colored pencils on many different things, and you cannot even tell the difference between the fancy Prismacolor pencils or the Crayola. They both work really well as long as you're using that mineral spirits and the blending, the paper stuff. Okay, let's grab our greeting for the top. Then we're gonna do the inside as well. All right, so I'm gonna put that up here. I love the font on this one, it's really cute. All right, so there's that. Now, take the inside. I'm gonna use another acorn. I'm not gonna color this one in though. This is the larger acorn. I'm gonna put one down here, and then, I, actually I think I'm gonna go up the sides. We did that in a video not too long, and I did like that look. All right, so we're done with all the stamps. Oh no, we're, actually we're not, we need to do our greeting. All right, so we have this large one, and this is from, all from the same stamp set. I'm gonna grab my paper, grab my green ink, which is right here. I'm gonna stamp off first to make sure I have good coverage on my stamp. See, I didn't have good coverage. See, good thing I didn't stamp it on my greeting piece first. All right, much better. All right, now, I need to probably bring this down to me so I can see it. But all I'm doing is just stamping it on the top. I hope that was straight. I have good coverage. You know what? I'm gonna try the other side, even though I was happy with that one. I'm gonna see if I can get just a bit, a little bit better as far as it being centered and straight. No, I was worse on that side. Okay, we're gonna use that one. All right, now let's bring our card in. It's gonna put this on the inside. Now with these kind of cards, whether it be a twisted easel card or a regular easel card, you'll see there's not a whole lot of room for your greeting. So what you can do, it's going to put this in here first, because we're going to put our piece that's going to hold that up, which is this piece right here. So I'm going to take this, put some adhesive on the back, okay, then bring this piece up, okay, so it's kind of standing, then put this where you want it. And you want to keep this in the card. You don't want to have it be out here. Okay, keep it in the card. 
just put it, I think right there looks pretty good. I'm gonna put that down. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this piece up. I think just five on this one would be fine. All four corners and then one in the center. But as I was saying, you'll see there's not a whole lot of room for your greeting. Okay, so what I would do for this card is first give these a squish, take the back piece off of all these. You could, you know, write a small greeting up here. And what I like about that is that when the card's opened, you don't see the greeting. Okay, and I'm gonna put this down here like that, okay? So that's gonna stand up. And because we use foam squares on that, it's gonna hold that piece up. Okay, super cute. So when the card's opened, it can be great for a display, but the person, people won't see your greeting here. You can also, if you want to, uh, put a piece in another piece of white, four by five and a quarter on the back, snap a little acorn there, and then do a longer greeting. And again, that's gonna be on the bottom of the card. Okay, so nobody will even see the greeting here or the greeting here if you choose to do that. But there you have it. So I apologize for the long video, but I want to show you the technique with the coloring and also this adorable stamp set with the squirrel. So doesn't it have a wow factor? I, I'm a big fan of easel cards, always have been. And I do like this one, it's just a little bit different. And again, this lays flat, so it's great for mailing and it fits into your standard A2 size envelope. All right guys, there you have it. A no gadget needed other than the pencils and the um, mineral spirits. But again, you can pick these up at Michael's. That's where I got that, even look on Amazon. Uh, any questions, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.